G Day, people! This is Sharpino here. Welcome, you guys, to episode number 47 of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Shiny Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course, you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did take on the first two members of the illustrious Elite Four once again. A lot tougher than the last time, but. Uh, Firefly handled Malane, and Optimus just manhandled freaking Olivia. Quite literally. Just destruction in the last episode. Today, we're going to go ahead and take on the last two members. I think it's Kali and Acerola. So let's go ahead and have a look at our team that we have with us today. So we've got Optimus the Metagross, Firefly the Volcarona, Sensei the Oranguru, Reptile the Tarantar, Blossoms the Lilligant, and Electrux the Lantern. So let's go ahead and put Reptile at the top here. And I think we need to go ahead and heal up Mr. Metagross, just in case something goes wrong. And let's get ready to roll right into the third battle of the Elite Four. Now, question for today. Now, last episode I asked you guys, what was your favorite Mega? And I really didn't answer it, so I do apologize for that. But honestly, my favorite Mega, um, Hiya, Ace Roller here, bringing an old Royal Touch to the Pokemon League. My favorite shiny Mega is Mega Gardevoir, without question. My favorite Mega in general would have to be, um... Hmm, favorite Mega. Although I will say Mega Gengar shiny looks pretty fucking amazing as well. Also, my favorite shiny, I th uh, my favorite Mega, sorry, I think is Metagross. I do love shiny Mega. I love Metagross, even shiny Metagross. The worst Mega, though, in my opinion, I do believe, and I do hate saying this because it is one of my favorite Steel types, is Agron. Mega Agron is just terrible. It's just god awful. And Mega Beetle goes from a bee to a wasp. What's the concept behind that? But anyways. Hey, even if you're a champion, you can't go into the champion's chamber without proving that you can still get past the Leaf Fall. And besides, battling is just plain fun. Come on, I can take you. Race Roller, I don't know. The last time I battled you, you couldn't handle shit. So I don't know where you got this newfound confidence from, so please and politely, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Five versus six. The net comes out. Mega Evolution. Payback. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Shiny Mega Metagross. Metagross? Jesus fucking Christ, that's a fail. Shiny Mega Tyranitar. Let's go. Woo-wee. Down goes the Shiny Mega Tyranitar. Delmise. We can stay in for that. That's not a problem. No big deal. Let's go for an Icky Bee Arm. Ice B. Oh wow. That did not do... Oh god. Whoa. That did a lot of damage. Okay. The reason why I went for Ice B is because I know he has a lot of physical defense. And because we are speed, I didn't know if going for Payback would be the best option. But it's down nonetheless. Okay. So that's down. Electro's level 74. Awesome. Palisand. Okay. Uh... Let's bring in Sensei. Sensei could be a good matchup for this. So you can't hit us with the Shadow Ball. So that's pretty cool. Um... We'll use one turn to heal our Tyrantar, so we can make sure that he's good when he comes back in. Earth Power. Let's see how much Earth Power does to Oranguru. That's a pretty decent hit. That's a pretty decent hit. I won't lie. That is a pretty decent hit. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. One fifty-three to eighty-one, and Sandstorm subsides. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind, because 
what I think is going to happen is this Palisade is going to go for another Earth Power. With the plus one Calm Mind, we should be able to survive one more turn. Unless he gets a crit, and that's going to fuck everything. Which he doesn't, which is good. Now, Shadow Ball should now kill, now that we're a plus one special attack. And then we'll be free to bring back in our beloved Tyranta. Awesome. Frostlast. Perfect! Let's go ahead and bring back in Mega Tita. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Mega Tita is here! Frostlash! The Sandstream has returned. Let's get this payback, boys! Blizzard! Oh! Dodge! 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 Pop! Down goes the Frostlash, baby! Sweet! Bye bye! In comes the Drift Bloom. Let's go for a massive Stone Edge. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, 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 buddy! Woo! Let's get it! Woo! Aranguru with the assist for the Mega Tarantula to clean up the Ghost. Gobbledygook. Being in the Elite Four is fun, but so is being a captain. Hmm, I'm not sure which, I, which to do. Well, Ace Roller, you do what you want to do best, and stick with it. Good shit. Good fucking shit, guys. That is awesome. Awesome. The third path has been lit up. Now we have one more member to face off against. I believe her name is Kali. And then we are ready for the champion once again, which more than likely is probably Hal. But here she is, it's Kali. So, here you are. Why don't we see who the wins favor today? You or me. So Primrush says the exact same things last time, even though we've already whipped her butt once before. Hey, Carly, how's it going? So, you came to battle me again. If I beat you, the number one ranked trainer in Alola, then I'll be ready to take on the world. I'm coming for you, Sharpino. Alright, Carly, you want to try and prove me wrong? With your two cannon looking golf club? Let's do this! Final battle of the Elite Four, let's do this! Feathers flustering, flying everywhere, let's do this. Graveyard is the first Pokemon off the bat, and that scares me because I know that bitch gets access to superpower. I just know that bitch gets access to superpower. In comes the Sandstream. Now, I am expecting that superpower to come through, but we should be able to outspeed. I'm pretty sure we outspeed. So I'm just going to go for a big old Stone Edge, so we should be able to get this. Here we go! We survive! We survive on 6 HP! right there oh my god that was crazy we lived on 6 HP 6 HP damn that was so close good god oh. <laughs> oh my god that is crazy that is absolute insanity right there I really thought we'd have speed, but apparently not. But apparently not. Man, the buzz is going to come back in. Alright. We'll swap back into uh, Mega Tyrantar. 
six XP though. <laughs> oh my god, that is crazy. That honestly, honestly, it, it, it's crazy. So we'll go ahead, full restore, get our health back up to full HP. Oh my god, dude. That is crazy. Crazy A Z. Crazy. And that is not overcoat. That must be big pecs. Alright, I'm gonna go for an ice beam just because I feel like ice beam should do a bit more damage because it's more bulky physically. And toxic is gonna come through. Okay, I'm I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this at all, Mr. Bandabuzz. I don't appreciate I don't appreciate this. But one more ice beam should get the kill on the Mandibuzz. The key word is should. But it does. That was a close one. That was that was way too close. <laughs> oh my god. Two cannon. Okay. Let's go for a stone edge to kill the two cannon. One more to go. And Blossom's level 75. Awesome shit. Oracorio. You're the flying type one, aren't you? You're the fire one. I'm gonna go ahead. As much as I would love to finish off with Reptar, I just want to play it safe and just make sure he survives. Because I don't know if Oracorio has some crazy shenanigans. But in comes Oracorio. It is the fire type one, as I predicted. So let's go ahead and go for a Scold. As he goes for an Air Slash. Excuse me. Skull comes through and gets a kill on Oracorio. Let's go. Woo! And Reptile's level 75. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Crazy. <laughs> that battle was worthy of what being number one in Alola. Maybe even number one in the world. But next time, I'll win. You see. You will see. Well, I don't know. You said it last time and I just kicked your butt. So I don't know, Kylie, what to believe with you anymore. And another path has opened. Now, all four paths have shone upon the final podium. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, next episode will be the very last episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Shiny Lock. It has been a very terrific project. You guys have definitely shown how much you guys appreciate it. And I just have nothing but appreciation for those who have decided to tune in and watch the videos. So guys, I will say to you guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button down below because as always, your support is great appreciated. In the next episode, we take on how once one more time and we affirm our position as the champion of Alola. So until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!